Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today's topic is about visualizing your data in Harmony, specifically bubble mapping your well information. So this could be anything from the EURs that you've come up with. It could be your 90 day QM or your peak rate. It could be the permeability that you've got from your RTA results and really any numerical value. You can bubble map it on Harmony's GIS map. Let's check it out and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So here in Harmony Enterprise, I have 1000 wells and I've already gone ahead and done a decline analysis on every single well. If you're curious about how to automate that, go back and check out episode number 11 to figure out how to automate declines on wells really quickly. So over on the GIS, we are going to go ahead and add a bubble map layer to show the EUR in terms of a bubble map. It's important that you select all the wells that you want to include in the bubble map first. So we're gonna go ahead and now add our bubble map layer. I'm gonna call this my gas EUR. Next. Now I want the color of the bubble to be associated with the magnitude of the EUR value. So uh, I'm gonna show it in my legend and I'm gonna change this to a variable color setting. Clicking on change, now we can pick if there's an input such as a peak rate or a 90 day QM that I want to use as a bubble map value, or if I want to pick the res result of an analysis like an EUR, permeability, etc. So you can expand these and go and find the parameter you want to bubble map, or something I use is this search button. So if I type in ultimate for ultimate expected recovery, it'll bring back related results that I can select. So in this case, my gas EUR. Now something else we have to do is imagine if each of these wells has a few interpretations, a few different declines. I need to pick one of them to use for my bubble map. And so that's where we can use this drop down here. In this case, I'm gonna pick the analysis name I've done for each well called a, my April 2019 decline analysis. And this is the interpretation that'll be pulled from each well when the results are displayed. Now, when it comes to the physical size of the bubble map, you can have this be variable relative to whatever result you're showing. Or in my case, I just want it to be a fixed size and really only the color vary with the EUR. So we can say finish. And there we go. So we see our legend here. We have our, our warm wells, our hotter colored wells, our high hot wells with higher EUR. And we can click on a well and see that, or we can go to a well with a cooler color and go and check out that well's lower EUR. Okay, now there's more flexibility. You can right click on the legend and say auto range color and it will look at the high and low range of the results and tweak the color range that way. You can also go into the options for the bubble map and you can customize the color range here. Pick any color you want and the different ranges here of the legend. There's other more advanced options where you can change the angle if you have a sort of ellipse or other shape here. And again, there's different shapes you can use depending on how you wanna control this. Now I wanna get some ideas in your head about other ways you can use the bubble map. One of them is here, what about my IP90? Okay, so this is looking at the peak rate within the first 90 days. And you can go check out episode number 23 to see how you can get these custom calculated attributes like IP90. Now another way to use the bubble map is if you've been using the monitoring function in Harmony Enterprise and check out number 14 to see that, you wanna see which wells are deviating from your forecasts, which are either overperforming or underperforming. How do you show that on the bubble map? Well, I've made custom calculated attributes that in this case, I've set up to see that if a well is underperforming my forecast, it's in red, or if it's overperforming, it's in green. Uh, if you wanna know what the QM difference is between your forecast and how the well's actually producing, again, I've done another one here where we can see wells that are, in this case, underperforming our forecast, right? like we see here, or wells that are really 
overperforming our forecast like this well here. So again, check out episode number 14 to see how to use the monitoring function, quickly see which wells are not following your forecast. And it's a great way to use the bubble map as well. Now for our RTA users, when you do the unconventional reservoir module, you do your material balance time or square root time plots, you get the area square root K, which is one of the greatest ways to benchmark your well performance in RTA. Well, you can go ahead and bubble map that right here. So we can see that these wells have higher area square root K, higher productivity compared to these wells over to the west. So again, great way to look at your area square root K. Or what about your area of the SRV? Okay, you can see that again. So this is just a few ways to get you thinking about how can I use the bubble map to see if there's a trend to visualize those results better. So what does this mean for you? Well, the biggest thing I think is you can get even more value from those inputs and results that you've done from your decline or your RTA analysis and just simply visualize them on a map. The second thing is now you can start to see trends in your field to see is there a trend in your permeability in your area square root K in your EUR and your peak rates. You can see that quickly and easily on the GIS map. And that's it. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, definitely give me a call or email me and subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.